All right, Devin was hauling some straw this morning. Almost blew a tire. Sold, uh, sold an old cow and those, uh, well, two bottle caps and a, the calf that goes with the call cow. Oh yeah, that looks pretty flat. Nice stuff though. So there they go. I saved me some time not having to uh, feed bottle caps in the morning and at night. Kind of a pain in the ass when you got another thousand things on the go. Try to eliminate as much as we can. All right. If I eliminate this dog, I wouldn't have to feed dogs in the morning, eh? Hey? Oh no, we couldn't do that. So. Uh, cow was 1,100 pounds, surprisingly. She was stinting. Uh, she wouldn't have survived the winter, nor would the calf have, because uh, she's not making much milk anymore. So you got to sell while you're on the top. Otherwise, you're just going to have a carcass left over. And then, you know, then you're losing. So, so yeah, we're going to uh, figure out what we're doing today yet. We got a winter in sight. We still got to finish building. And uh, yeah, we don't know yet. All right, so those, uh, that load of cattle is gone to the sale. Sale is going to be tonight, Banquet Hill, Ontario. So um, now we're back at our wintering site here. Our excavator. <laughs> I'll go over that a little bit later. So we got this continuous water. Uh, water trough system that we're building. Well, I'm building. Been working on it for two months. Anyways, so that's our intake pipe. We have a water source up here. We got a sediment tank. That sediment tank uh, then kind of like a header tank too. It controls the height so we get a little bit more pressure. Well, we got a four inch non-perforated tile drain coming up. That's our intake. And that's our exit. So we can main we can monitor or we can regulate our uh, our height of water in this trough here with that and that's the exit so the whole idea is that the water is continuously flowing we have no pump it's just a natural source of water and this is our exit pipe that goes away from the cows problems first of all everything here is recycled except for the tile drain i bought uh the sediment tank up there or the sediment pipe is used pipe that i found it's all cracked and it is leaking a little bit but that doesn't matter it, le it leaks here and that's what matters so really it should be like three or four tiles deep and it should be flush with the ground but we broke uh we broke a tile when we were trying to put it in and we had some two there but they're actually worse shape so always leaking in between the seam there was no gasket around it there's supposed to be a rubber gasket that mates them together i don't know where this where it is or if we ever had one but it's just kind of like a budget build i guess you can say uh we're just cheap so so what i'm doing uh, i had some leftover cement from when they were pouring the foundation for my brother's house i managed to grab a couple buckets full and i just jammed it in the cracks and that would kind of get me in the butt right it's high pressure concrete it's got rocks in it. it's a little three-quarter rock and i think that's where it's leaking through so i got some some of that quick plug cement i just kind of layered it on top but that just as you can see makes a terrible job well i did a terrible job of it because I'm laying it on top. So I'm going back with the hammer, whacking it all out, cleaning it up good. And we're gonna attempt this one more time. We're getting water that leaks around this pipe too. And we have a little leak here somewhere. I think it's right there actually. And when there's water on the outside, it comes, well, when I pump the water out, it starts leaking through there. So I'm thinking it's when it's full, it's leaking through there. 
we can take a little bit of water i mean we could have a little bit of leakage because we're on sand but if we're leaking more than that's coming in then we have a what's known as a deficit <laughs> or a, uh, as you can see the water level got to there i want it to come through this pipe so we have full control so that's what i'm doing Busting it out. Lazy man works harder. I should have just done a good job at the beginning, but. So, it is pretty good cement, but I don't know. It's just not. So you can see here that's sand. But there's a lot of little tiny holes you can obviously go through, and water will find its way through if it has to. And then under pressure, we have a fair bit of, well, not much pressure, but a fair bit of volume anyways, and then just pisses out. So that's what I'm going to oh do. Oh my God. I was literally patching that well in, basically in the hole. I kept my phone in my truck and all hell basically just broke loose in the time I was in there. It was probably an hour. So I sent, we, I saw you, uh, you guys saw the truck leaving this morning and sent those three calves. Well, one was limping a little bit. I I don't know what happened to him, but he's he's back two, three weeks old, I think now. Anyways, he's been living around the yard, you know, coming in and out of the, hiding in the grass. I've been bottle feeding him ever since, but he was limping in the front, I noticed, but like, whatever. Oh, uh, no, no, I can't bring that to the sale. They said we're gonna... We're gonna shoot it in the back of the sail barn and give the the transporter a fine if you don't take it. So they said, okay, we'll bring it back home. So one of the bottle caps is on its way home because of its sore knee or leg, whatever. I'll give him some penicillin, and I'll have to get another bag of freaking milk powder. Ugh. I just thought that we could be done with this bottle cap stuff already, but. It's ridiculous how strict it is now, but I guess that's, there used to be some pretty bad stuff that went to the sale barn, but like, you know, of course that had to ruin all the common sense stuff now. Anyway, so, quick, quick plug. All right, I went through almost two buckets. I chipped everything out. I done me a fine dandy job. Um, just from what I can remember, there was something at the bottom that was leaking, but anyways, that's done. So, I better keep my phone on me, because, maybe, you know, as soon as I put it down, it's, someone's gonna call me, something else is gonna happen, so. It's cold, it's damp, it's like, uh, feels like it's gonna snow. I'm completely, I have no bounds for some reason. Um, yeah, so, I did put some concrete around, uh, the outlet pipe. Because I noticed as I was emptying it, it was coming back in through there. So, if it comes out, if it comes in, it will go out. So, uh, next we got to do, ah, friggin' Monday jobs. Ugh. So, we're fencing, done fencing, pretty much. I got to do some excavating once again. So, if you guys remember, I don't know if you guys showed you guys much here, but on my Snapchat, I showed enough of this fucking thing. That fan was backwards. So it was not sucking, it was blowing. And it was taking engine heat and pushing it through the radiator, causing the overheat. My brother figured that out, props to him. He actually heated these fan blades up, twisted them the other way, and uh, worked. Obviously he made this new muffler. <laughs> uh, it's not pretty, but it works. Then we had hydraulic overheating, hydraulic fluid overheating. That was the second issue. That's why we took the lid off and then it started to, to work fine. Uh, we had oil, fuel filters blocking up every couple hours. We emptied this tank. I shit you not, it was fucking thick with rust like you'd never seen. Uh, so, figure that out. Uh, we Frig the cylinder, cylinder blew out on the top. We had to get that replaced. That was almost three grand. We had a lot of power now to push. That works a little better. We have a lot less uh, oil leaks, but we still have to pull this pump out. 
and redo the seals in there. We have to pull the whole engine out, and that's uh, later. Later in the winter, we'll take tackle that. We've had we've had a lot of random leaks just starting because we think now that the oh, that's where my fucking hat was. Fuck, I'm retarded. I lose this thing like ten times. Anyways, so we had a lot of uh, leaks, just random sporadic leaks, like this one starting here too now. And it's, it's thought basically because the hydraulic fluid was getting so hot, it was just seeping through everything. Kind of, kind of the reason. But there's still a lot of other things to solve. Okay, I'm gonna quit chatting and uh, we gotta pound a couple last posts. Oh, I'm not looking forward to winter. Fuck, it's already goddamn miserable. It's, the snow hasn't even fell yet. Oh, so, I'm gonna clean up. We gotta, we gotta go to Mexico. That's what we gotta do. We gotta get on the plane. We gotta fly to Mexico. Get out of this weather. <laughs> Girlfriend's contemplating, or she's complaining, like usual. I gotta go on vacation, I gotta go on vacation. But, you know, she's back at work. I'm busy. And we have to leave around Christmas time. That's the time she has off, being a school teacher. So, I'm pretty flexible somewhat in my my vacation time. I can, I can kind of manipulate that pretty well. Uh, I can't really go on vacation now, but I think around Christmas time we will we'll be able to uh, head south, but it's just so expensive. Oh. They get you, and they get you in the, on the Christmas time. They know everyone's going at the same time, and uh, so, I don't know if I've shown this post. Uh, yeah, I think I made a couple of videos on this post calendar. Man, it's a freaking... It's a treat. It is. Oh, I can't. Fuck, I don't have a chainsaw with me now. Ugh. I'll try to pound them in without it, but we gotta make another fence going that way. Just so that we got a, something of a corral or I don't know yet, but we need to be able to divide this wintering site into two. So that uh, we can work with the cows somewhat, something. Maybe eventually with that pile is I want to make a corral. But this is basically the lane they're going down to. There's going to be a double gate here, but they're going to go down to get the water. So I figure that's a good little interception point. No, not today. I'm not, no, no. Damn thing. Um, okay, let's go hook this thing. Oh, we got one post in, one more to Matt, how's that going? Oh, it's it's Monday. It's going just fucking great. So we must have hit something here. Smash the shit out of that. Too far in to pull out. Put another one in. Fucking Travis Larwell in this fucking post, man. Son of a bitch, Travis. 
No. Uh, that one's rotten, and I must have hit something again, and I busted it out, kinked it out. So. Never buying fucking post that kid. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Travis is the person I bought my fence post from. He saved my fucking ass because I needed about a thousand some posts and well he got me about half of them. And uh, we managed to peel them and let them actually dry so that they're you know they're proper posts putting in. Well, people like to put green posts in with the bark still on and ha! Have fun doing that because you're going to do it again in like five years. This way they're not going to, uh, they're not going to rot. And they're actually going to last because they're, they're dry. There's, you get bugs that get under them, uh, moisture gets in them. And then they just never get to really dry and cure and then they rot out. So it's uh, important to peel them. I got maybe two or three. Uh, posts out of this whole thing that aren't peeled properly. It's if they don't if they're not old enough they don't peel right. So like this one, but we're just gonna have to cut it. I should have brought my chainsaw. It's my fault. Fuck. That way I can uh, point them. But it's like 4:30 now, so I'm gonna call it a day. Been on hooker and uh, we'll resume tomorrow. Just out checking on caps with my son here, Royce.
gonna have a scours outbreak. They all die from scours, and one day they freaking die from bloat, and uh, one day like a mob of coyotes coming and taking them out. Or yeah. I don't want to talk too negative now, but <clears throat> some some things can happen in farming, so you gotta be on your toes at all times. So that's why we gave him a little strip. I'm not gonna give him this whole field. If I gave him this whole field, you'd just be asking for it. Literally, there's nothing. There's, there's no. There's no way of saying you weren't careful if you do that. So that's there as a first-time caver. <clears throat> that heifer bull is just awesome. They're all red. And they're all small. We didn't pull a single heifer yet. They're all done though, so uh, you can tell they're all they're all red. <laughs> Small red calves. So that's 58 series. <laughs> we like to start branding. We gotta get some gloves on you, eh, buddy? What do you wanna do? Wanna go over there? You want the helmet? You wanna wear the helmet? That's funny, the little German helmet. <laughs> Safety first, right? You can never be too safe. There we go. Whoa, into the trenches you go, buddy. <laughs> so the majority is Simmental or uh, Hereford.
cows. We don't need to. Yeah, well, I will make them too. Yeah, I will, I will make the cows. So they don't get lice and all that. We know this. I don't know about. I don't know about any other parasites and stuff they get, but we 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 will make them. Get them up on the new pasture, on the calving pasture, I guess you could say it. 
large scale, let's say, let's say like 350 head, you're doing it like that. Nah, you don't want to do that because, yeah, you know, you got one out of 50, it's okay, but 1% out of 350, you're talking a little bit more. So, I don't know. Something that we uh, have to keep in mind when we're, let's say we want to expand the herd, we got to figure that out. We have to uh, try to figure out, well, we have to uh, stockpile more feed, that's what I'm trying to say. It's, but it's, we're cutting hay fields, right? So we gotta leave a whole cut, and we only got two cuts out of these fields, so I mean, if we're, gonna, we're leaving third cut, but third cut is, you know, it's, it's over there, it's nothing, nothing special, so we're gonna have to eventually redo the seeding then we're gonna be in another farm so or we just keep it going like this but our yields are not really improving so this is what we leave this is where they started that's a good it's a good answer so it's nothing special if it's tall it's gonna die if it's too short it's gonna die very spotty with frost, uh, with winter kill. Some years you don't get anything. Some years you get a lot. It's uh, you can't really do much about it. So this is basically the pasture they're going to end in. Hopefully, once we do the rotation, assuming we don't have troubles. You know, you never know. And this this field we got. <laughs> I missed him so much. I bought him back now. Uh, and Roly missed him. So this calf we sent to the sale because he's a ball calf and we don't got time for ball calves. So we sent three of them and they sent this one back. They said they're going to shoot him. We're going to shoot him if you don't or, you, or take it back. Said his front left because he's limping a little bit. They said that's animal cruelty. And then we have to get to put him out of his misery. So I said, the hell you are. Like, what? You know, I never send bottle caps because I just, I don't like sending them. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of hard on them. And you don't, you know, I was always scared that they were going to do some stupid thing like that. So they said, okay, no, I'll take it back and I'll put him on penicillin and we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens. He's got, I don't know, maybe he's starting foot rot or something. But I didn't think it was too concerning. I'll just 
maybe it's a it's an organic fucking calf what do you think maybe uh we're uh, no uh, antibiotics or something you know give him a couple weeks he'll be fine but so she just uh her transporter girl she came uh, she had to do a long trip but he was <laughs> he, he went for a couple miles in the trailer today uh I don't want him to, I don't know if he's going to get sick from being shipped around all, all day or not, but, you know, this guy's been through a lot. Maybe we're just going to keep him after all, keep him down in the barn with the sheep. He's, uh, poor guys. And just hope the other ones were treated fine and found a good home. It's a lot of stress for these guys. Give them the price of beef now. Um, I'm just hoping that they, they go to good, you know, good homes to get taken care of, hey? Yeah. Yeah, you hope your babies get good care, take good care of. And they do, they have, there's lots of farms that take bottle caps in and they they finish them and make a veal out of them or given the price now they might even try finishing one but uh, it's just a lot of work for us if we have more cows in the future and we do have more bottle caps let's say we have like 10 or 20 bottle caps we're gonna have to set up pens and stuff for feeding them and getting them on buckets and stuff be a little bit I think better but uh, given the price, it's for me. It's not worth feeding the calf twice a day. Taking, especially this guy. This guy takes at least twenty minutes to drink sometimes. So I got some biomycin, biomycin two hundred. I'll give him that. Give him ten cc's, and we'll see how his foot looks and hoof looks in a week or so. But. Somewhere in the, somewhere in the hoof. Hey, it is a little bit inflamed there. Poor guy. I never, I never thought I would send uh, newborn calves or weak old calves to the sale. Just, I don't know, never felt right. And let me get this fucking call back and uh, made me feel bad. I'm just glad they didn't put him out of his his apparent misery, but it would have been real. That would have been real bad, eh, buddy? That would have been sad. It's just ironic because they say it's animal cruelty because he's limping, and then they go ahead and <laughs> just fucking murder the damn thing. <laughs> Shoot it right there to put it out of its misery. Just like, really? You can't let a farmer buy it and, you know, let it go from there. I'm sure there's been worse things walking through the sale barn than this little guy. Yeah, the mascot, the farm mascot.